probably wear a corset two, three times a week. I just think it's very feminine. The shape it gives you is more of a, uh, an hourglass figure. It makes your waist look smaller, your bum look a bit bigger, and your boobs look a bit bigger. Forget weight training. Some people believe the secret to a perfect body is waist training. Romani's been wearing corsets for the past 18 months, but says it's a craze that can be taken too far. Wearing a corset 24 hours a day, you can snap ribs, problems with kidneys sometimes, it also can damage the bottom of your lungs, but that's only doing it to extremes. More and more women are returning to the age-old method of corseting in pursuit of an hourglass figure, including fetish model Romani Smith. My shape before was like a fashion model. I was very straight up, straight down, and to be honest with you, I didn't feel feminine at all. I didn't feel sexy. I felt like a little girl. And the whole reason I started wearing them was because I wanted to look more like a woman. Romani shrunk her natural waistline by three inches. And when she's wearing a corset, her tummy measures a tiny 18 inches. At the moment, she wears a corset for up to six hours at a time. But Romani wants to up her training regime, despite sometimes finding it painful. Wearing a corset, if it makes you feel uncomfortable and you're out and about and stuff, it's kind of like getting a stomachache and put your power on through it anyway. I would like to waist train because uh, it's quite nice to not wear a corset and still have the same shape. Wearing them all the time, it trains you to have that shape all the time. Extreme corseting, though, doesn't come without risks. Wearing a corset 24 hours a day all the time does tend to damage your ribs. You can snap ribs, um, bruising occurs, um, problems with kidneys sometimes. It also can damage the bottom of your lungs because obviously it is bringing in all your ribs. So yeah, they're the problems you can have, but that's only doing it to extremes and doing it too much. Romani's making a name for herself as a fetish model. She's very able to slip into character and to produce a variety of different looks for a given situation. Um, it makes her very good at fetish, fashion, corsetry, um, lingerie, whatever you put in front of her. And Romani's mum is her right-hand woman when she needs to strap up for a shoot. I think it's okay, it's another string to her bow, it's part of her, what she has to model, so yeah, I'm fine with her wearing corsets. Would I consider corsets myself? And if I was younger, definitely I would consider it, but not now. Great boots. But Romani doesn't always get positive feedback on her appearance. I've had a few people criticise me, but that's mainly on like social media sites where people can hide behind a computer. I've had a few people go, oh, that's disgusting, it's unnatural. But it's been quite biggish women, I suppose, that obviously are going to be like, well, that's, that's not right. Anybody as old as I has lived in the 50s wore corsets. They weren't as extreme as that, um, but they, they sort of helped you sort of look nice. I think she looks quite nice, and I think it's good if it makes her happy. Yeah, lovely, lovely waist. Um, it's very curvaceous. Yeah, I love small waist for women. Why? It's just sexy. Romani's got some words of warning for young girls wanting to follow in her footsteps. I don't think girls, they should start wearing them as young as some of them are. I've seen a couple of girls on like Instagram and stuff and they're like 15 wearing corsets. Their bodies aren't fully formed yet, so it's going to disfigure them in later life. But she's going to continue wearing corsets in pursuit of an even tinier tummy. I'd love to shrink my waist into a 17, maybe a 16, maybe 15, I don't really know. Just go with it and see what happens.